started with a list of nine groceries, some easily bruisable things, some cold things like ice cream. There is a pint of ice cream for $9. $9, can you believe that? And a little something for Milo. I chose Amazon Prime Delivery, Instacart, and Safeway to test out. For all three, I was able to find the groceries easily. It was just my own indecisiveness that made it a little difficult. You know, it's taking me long to figure out which... <laughs> which items I want, but I guess I would be doing this in the grocery aisle anyways, right? Amazon only works for Prime users, which I already had. There is still a $4.99 delivery fee. It came out to be $35.83. I got a text instantly and got my deliveries on time, and they all look good. They all were there. Instacart gives you an option of paying a yearly fee of $99 in lieu of the $7.99 delivery fee. If this is something you use often, then maybe this is for you, but... For now, that's gonna be a no from me. What I liked about Instacart is that my shopper kept in touch with me the entire time via text messages. With a pink heart. It's really nice. It cost me $38.48. The groceries were delivered within the hour and came fresh as well. Safeway had two options, one powered by Instacart, another powered by its own drivers. I chose that one. Because I ordered after 8.30 in the morning, my groceries did not come until the following day. Uh, just have to wait and see what uh, tomorrow will bring as far as Safeway. So, oops, oopsies. If you do have a Safeway card, this is a great option. There were a lot of discounts only available to card holders. I was not one, so I missed out. However, because it calculated the discounted prices, I had to order more food to reach the minimum amount. But then I ended up spending way over that, $45.27, although the minimum was only $30. The delivery fee was $9.95. The next day, the groceries were a little late, but the driver called me to tell me he was stuck in Viadum traffic. So I let that slide, it was understandable. Again, all the groceries were there and in good condition. So again, here are the totals that I spent on each service. Amazon was the cheapest, but I gotta tell you, I really liked Instacart. They were the fastest and they kept me in touch throughout the process, seeing where they were, even when the individual groceries were in the cart. Safeway was the most expensive, but if you do have a Safeway card, you would be saving a lot of money. So that might be a good option for you. In the end though, is this something I'd use every week? Probably not, uh, but it's good to have in case my life Life gets a little hectic and my refrigerator gets a little empty. In the kitchen this morning, Vanessa Shania, King 5 Mornings.